arrays in C are actually just sequential data items stored at some location in memory. The address of the array is the same as the address of the first item in the array because it's where the array begins and the name of the array, that is the name you give to the array variable, is also the address of the array. To explain this, let's look at how strings are used in C. Unlike many other languages, C does not have a dedicated string data type. In C, a string is just an array of characters. For convenience, C treats the null character, slash zero, as the string terminator. When you declare a string variable like this, C automatically adds a null char at the end. Now, let's see if we can find where this string is stored in memory. Now, here's my program, and here you can see that I've just created a string, hello world, which I've assigned to the string array, the variable str1. So let's run this. First, it displays the string, that is, the array of characters of the variable str1 then the character at index 0, that is, at the first index of the array, which here is h of hello world. Then I show the address of the array, which is this number representing a memory location. Now I get the address of the first character. Remember that I said the address of the array is the same as the address of the first item in the array. Well, we can see that's true because the address of the character h which is shown when I use the ampersand address of operator, is the same as the address of the string, shown when I use the address of operator with the string variable str1. But now look at this last value here. Instead of using the ampersand to get an address, I just display the variable itself, str1, as an integer using %d in my format string. And this shows the same number, which is the address of the array. Now, to understand how this works, let me repeat what I said at the beginning of this lesson, because it's really important that you understand this. The address of an array is the same as the address of the first item in the array, because it's where the array begins. And the name of the array, that is the name you give to the array variable, is also the address of the array. In other words, while we may tend to think of arrays as fixed length lists, and in many other programming languages, that may be all you need to know about arrays. In fact, the way your computer and the C language creates and stores an array is a bit different. So remember that an array is really the same as an address in memory that defines the beginning of sequential data items. And when you deal with arrays, including strings, you are dealing with addresses. And usually when you are dealing with addresses, you will be using pointers. That's what I'll explain in the next lesson.